Liking Who I Am, a picture book about self-acceptance. Illustrated book for beginner readers developing character and confidence, ages 4 through 7. I'm Brave, book number 2. Written by Sylvia Yordanova, narrated by Million Quinteros. Hello, hello. My name is Nezo, and I am a curious little elephant. I live with my mom in the African jungle. The first time when I met Mrs. Giraffe, I saw that she had a very long neck and short, knobby-looking legs. Right away, I began laughing at her. My mother was very upset with me. You're never to make fun of others, she said. Nature had created all of us differently so that we can stay alive in the jungle. I didn't know that. Thanks to her long neck, Mrs. Giraffe can get her food from the treetops, my mother said. And with her long neck, she can also see her enemies very quickly. Then Mom asked me something really interesting. Nezo, have you ever thought how you look to others with your long trunk? My trunk? What was wrong with it? All elephants have trunks. Think how you must look to Mrs. Giraffe and the other animals. Most of them have very small noses, and surely our trunks must seem very funny to them. Then my mother asked, How would you feel good if the other animals start laughing at us because of our long trunks? I did not want anyone to laugh at me because of my trunk. I loved my trunk. But then I asked her, Mom, why do we really have such long trunks while other animals do not have any? Then Mom told me why our trunks were very important. We can use it to give ourselves a bath whenever we are in the river, she said. I liked doing that. We can also use it to have fun as we squirt water on each other. I enjoyed using it to blow water high up into the air and let it fall back down on me. I really love my trunk. I kept asking for what else my trunk was useful for. Mom told me that one of the most important things we could use it for was to protect ourselves from our enemies. These were other animals that want to hurt us. Now I started to feel a bit afraid and to wonder who were these animals who wanted to hurt us. I saw a monkey swinging in a tree. Is that one of our enemies, Mom? No, dear. She's our good friend. So can I play with her? Sure. The little monkey hopped onto my back and we chatted as we went along. She was curious about my long trunk, and I was glad I could tell her why I needed it as an elephant. One of the things I proudly told her was that my trunk was nature's special gift to me. For defending myself. Really, said the little monkey. Then I wonder why nature gave me such a long tail. I don't know. Why not ask my mom? She knows everything, I said. My mother told him that his long tail helped him to move about quickly, and it also came in like a third arm. A third arm? But I only have two the little monkey said. Yes, my mom told him. But with your tail, you can use it to swing from one tree to the next, just like you were using your arm. On hearing this, the little monkey immediately used his tail to swing up onto a tree. Then he began leaping from branch to branch. This is fun, he shouted, laughing happily. Thank you for telling me this, Mrs. Elephant. Now I can enjoy the tail which nature has so kindly given me. You see that, Nezo? Mom asked as we watched the little monkey swinging in the tree. She went on to say, He can also use his tail to get away quickly from an enemy. Nature has given all animals something to protect them from their enemies. Now this had me wondering what nature had given to our enemies to protect them. So I asked, Who are some of our enemies, Mom? One of our worst enemies is the tiger, Mom said. 
It has sharp teeth and powerful muscles, and it can jump upon us from anywhere after lying in wait to attack us. At that very moment, I saw a large animal with huge, sharp teeth jumping down at me. It was really a tough